Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman. In today's video, we're going to talk about the spirit of disgust. So while you are standing for your God-ordained love story, whenever you find yourself interacting with your God-ordained prodigal spouse, you may see manifesting on your prodigal spouse's face the spirit of disgust, right? And for a lot of us, we don't know that it's a spirit, right? You will see disgust all over your prodigal spouse's face and will assume your prodigal spouse is disgusted with you. They don't like you. They probably hate you, right? We will assume the negative because we don't really understand that what we are really seeing is a spirit of disgust that is manifesting in the facial expression, right? So understand whenever you see this spirit manifest, um on your prodigal spouse's face don't try not to take it personal understand why it's manifesting okay number one the reason why it's manifesting is because um it's in your presence right it's manifesting because uh you know evil cannot stand in the presence of the anointed one right so if you are walking with the lord and you are now interacting with your prodigal spouse of course, you're going to upset their demons, right? And it's going to begin to manifest, right? Or um, if you say something, like you might give your prodigal spouse a rebuke, you're going to see that spirit manifest because, again, you know, it's in the presence of the anointing one, right? So that's one of the reasons why that spirit will manifest itself in the facial expression. The second reason why that spirit manifests is because of what it heard from the enemy, right? So your prodigal spouse have been hearing... <coughs> excuse me, your prodigal spouse have been listening to the enemy speak negative things about you, right? And to the point to where your prodigal has believed these lies of the enemy, right? And so again, um, the spirit of disgust will manifest on your prodigal spouse's face based upon whatever negativity or lies they heard from the enemy in the past, okay? Now, um, understand this too about the spirit of disgust. When, we, when, we, when we're dealing with the spirit of disgust, I need you to also understand that the spirit of disgust, it links up with the spirit of offense, right? So if, if your prodigal spouse, um, it, whenever they are offended, you will see that spirit of disgust begin to manifest because it, it links up with it. And it also links up with the spirit of anger, right? Now, when you take a look at the spirit of anger, the spirit of anger links up with the spirit of resentment, the spirit of rage, the spirit of bitterness, the spirit of irritation, the spirit of, um, it's a lot of different um, spheres that links up with anger, right? Disappointment, um, annoyance, right? So we are dealing with more than one spirit, okay? That is manifesting in your prodigal spouse's face, okay? And I know you probably like, oh my God, this is just too much. Exactly. So again, whenever you see this spirit manifest in your God-ordained prodigal spouse's face, make sure you don't take it personal. Do not believe the lies of the enemy that tells you your spouse is disgusted or uh, your spouse isn't attracted to you or your spouse doesn't like you. No, this is a spirit that is now manifesting in your prodigal spouse's facial expressing, expression. So what you want to do when you see this, okay, you want to begin to uh, rebuke this spirit of disgust, right? So you will say, I rebuke the spirit of, the, uh, of disgust uh, off of my God or dang spouse in the name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke the spirit of offense off of my God or dang spouse in the name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke the spirit of anger, resentment, bitterness, irritation off of my God or dang spouse in the name of Jesus Christ. After you rebuke all of these spirits, now I want you to begin to call the spirit of disgust out of uh, the facial expression, right? So you were saying, um, I command the spirit of disgust to come out of my God ordained prodigal spouse's facial expression now in the name of Jesus Christ. Continue to do this every single day until you see that spirit disappear off of your God ordained prodigal spouse, okay? So remember, do not take it personal. Um, the spirit is just, it's manifesting, you know, because it's in the presence of the anointed one It's manifesting because it probably got offended by what, by something you have said, maybe a rebuke, 
it's manifested because of the lies from the enemy who has been speaking against you or your love story, right? It's manifested for all the wrong reasons because your prodigal has the door open to the enemy, okay? So all you have to do is stay in prayer, rebuke, bind, command that spirit to come out in the name of Jesus Christ, all right? So that is it. I am Tequila Coleman. I'll talk to you all real soon. Take care.